Hey everyone, it's Taker Kid. Um, and I'm gonna do something that I don't normally do. Sorry about that annoying sound. I can't. I gotta keep it on if the lights if the lights on. All right, Jack Bartholomew and uh, Usher, they did their um, videos making their opinions on uh, WWF chat room. So now it's my turn. All right. Um. WWF chat room on Facebook. It's a Facebook group. It's got over 10,000 members. I don't know how that happened, but yeah. Oh, boy. You know, I respected this group because it's probably one of the, the oldest wrestling groups on Facebook. And a lot of the fans seem to be passionate. They've got a lot of respect for wrestling. Like, on The Rock's birthday, people were saying happy birthday to The Rock and all that. But, uh... Dear God, um, that stereotype that every wrestling fan has to deal with about the stereotype of all wrestling fans are gay, stupid, fat, retarded virgins, um, neckbeards, nerds, smarks, dorks, you name it, freaks. Um, that stereotype was created by this group, okay? There are some stupid dumbasses there, brother. All right, I'm just going to think about some examples from comments that I've heard from that group, okay? Um, the, the, the smart buster said that he just put wrestling was fake. I added him to the group, by the way, but he put wrestling's fake. And then this one neck beard, uh, was like, shut up. It real, it real, it real, it really, really, really real. That's the comment he put verbatim. I'm not even making it up. He said it real. It really, really, really real. I don't know if he's trying to be like her angle or something. He was like, it really, really, really real. So shut up, hater. And the thing is, this is a stereotypical redneck wrestling fan, okay? I looked at the guy's profile, and um, it had uh, I don't really look at people's profiles a lot. Like, I, don't, I think that's been done enough recently, but the guy had, like, the Confederate flag everywhere. He had, like, a truck, and he had a little hat like Joe Dirt. <laughs> he looked like Cody Deeter. <laughs> You guys remember Cody Diener from TNA? Yeah, giver! Yeah, that's what this guy looked like, and he's telling the Smart Buster in the worst grammar that I'd ever seen in my life. It real, it real, it really, really, really real, hater. And then somebody tried to argue with him about Mick Foley and Kurt Angle taking bumps, so I don't know what the fuck. Uh, then um, another example, this one fucking guy with a fucking selfie of himself like this, big muscle dude, big steroid motherfucker. Um, he... I said I thought Seth Rollins sucked. He tells me, oh, it doesn't suck. And besides a bunch of insults where half of them weren't even true, the only thing this guy had to counter my argument was to he told me to go look at the Ring of Honor Tyler Black Library. What the fuck is the Tyler Black Library? I don't know there. There's a library right here down the street. I, I can walk there. Is that is that the library? I don't know. This motherfucker never even been to a library. Motherfucker looks like he injected steroids in him. Fuck that asshole, you know? Then he called me a pedo just because I said that uh, I liked Roman Reigns better than Seth Rollins. And I told him, bring your little bastard kids because he had kids in his pictures or whatever. Um, so yeah, fuck that nigger. Um, and then uh, this one was one of my favorites. This guy's a guy that uh, has been busted by Jack Bartholomew and uh, Us Usher in the past more times than I can count. This piece of crap, J J Fabio, he had the audacity to say that he was defending Dolph Ziggler actually wearing pink. Oh, so what if he looks gay? Is, does that mean he's bad? Um, I don't even need to say anything. I don't have to say anything. Okay. Then this motherfucker got butter because I put NXT spoilers to piss him off. <laughs> I'm a troll, bitch. <laughs> and uh, he said, keep spoiling NXT, motherfucker. No, but this is what happened, okay? Courtney put a, a thing of Bailey. I mean, not Bailey. Blue Pants. Blue Pants is birthday, right? They, they put it on the screen. That shit's not even going to air on TV. So this fucking asshole was like, hey, he starts spoiling it. That's not a fucking spoiler, bitch. That shit's not even going to air, you cock-sucking, testicle-licking piece of garbage. And his name's Fabio. This motherfucker's got long ass hair like a fucking faggot. Um, He looks like he took fucking... Cuban sub-sized dicks up his ass, okay? And he has the nerve 
For I, I bury him for being a faggot and for looking gay and liking gay looking wrestlers. He goes, Oh, looks like Troll Batista uh strikes again. First of all, I strike again, why thank you. Second of all, even though that's not my real name, uh, how original. Troll Batista, that isn't that cute. That should be a t-shirt. And I told him, I could say a whole bunch of shit about your stupid gay ass name, but I'm not gonna. And his and his response to me after I said that, this is the big one. He buried me. He buried me. Are you guys ready? He buried me. I'm six feet under protecting me, y'all. He said, his response to my burial was, Bootista. I know, right? I, I agree with the bird. I don't know if he was making fun of Batista. I guess, I, I am a Batista fan, but I never told him, so I guess he was assuming that, and he was making fun of Batista, or he was making fun of my last name on Facebook. I don't know, but... um. Yeah, this motherfucker couldn't crack to save my life, his life. What a cocksucking faggot this guy is. Then this guy actually had the nerve to say that Adam Rose may look gay, but he's but he's a. It doesn't mean he's a bad wrestler. He's actually a good wrestler. Um, whether you think Adam Rose is a good wrestler or not is your opinion, but it doesn't change the fact that motherfucker looks gay. If 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 a guy like Dolph Ziggler that looked like Dolph Ziggler or Adam Rose walked into like a barber shop or something, a restaurant. That I was at, I would assume that they were homosexual. And that's just me. You know, this guy likes gay ass wrestlers. This guy, Fabio, should move to Ireland. He can go he can go take it up his arse with the rest of the Ireland people. Yeah. The dumbest comments I've seen on there. Oh, I'm trying to think of some more. Oh, uh, somebody put Seth Rollins as a bad champion, and of course, I don't know how this happened, but it started a fucking fifty comment debate. And the the argument I was in last week was over a thousand comments because it was all of us. It was Matthew Hoyt, Jack Bartholomew Usher, Darren Charlie Brown, myself, a couple of people with brains. I think God of France was on there. I think Buster Wright was on there. And then like tens, ten fucking idiots on there too. Ten idiots fighting us. Um about fucking then this one guy, I said I would rather have Big Show or Kane as champion. Oh, you uh that company would WCW uh would have won the Monday Night Wars if we were writing WWF. So I said, of course they would have won because I'm not a fucking booker and neither are you, you cock-sucking, testicle-licking piece of shit. Um, fucking asshole, man. I'm fucking people with their comments. And the thing is, they don't even have, half of them don't even have pictures of themselves. They've got pictures of, like, eyeballs and fucking Dean Ambrose and, and the ones that do have the picture of themselves have the gayest po postures I've ever seen in my life. All right, I don't even know what the fuck like. And then when they all all they do is insult you on there, like if you don't agree with them, they don't debate you, they don't counter you, they don't agree to disagree with you, they don't try to have a debate, they don't try to have a discussion. All they want to do is insult, and half of their insults are not even accurate. And there's probably a nine in ten chance that that shit applies to them. So yeah, and the thing is, I don't even know why they call themselves WWF chat room when there's no fucking WWF talk in there. The only time it is is when someone's referring to the past. Why don't you just take out one of the W's and call yourself Wrestling Forum Chat Room? Just do that. Absolutely ridiculous. Also, the Chris Benoit stuff. I have a different opinion about Benoit, so I'm not going to pretend like I don't. But yeah, WWF Chat Room. Uh, I forgot. W. I call them WWF Chat Room. My brother calls them something else. WWF cat crap room, I think that's what he calls them. But yeah, a bunch of neckbeards on there, man. You gotta post anything without people attacking you. And the grammar from these assholes is so fucking retarded. It's like they didn't go to school. It's like they spent 12 to 13 years in front of a wrestling show their whole life. And then the teacher told them, oh, you're too old to be in fucking second grade. Get out of here. Fucking assholes on that side, man. A bunch of virgins. Never had a girlfriend. Never felt a pussy. Never got a kiss from a girl. Fucking neckbeards, man. But yeah, that's all I got to say about this. I'll probably do another video. My video probably wasn't as good as a Char on uh, Jack or whatever, but I tried. WWF chat room users, fans, whatever, have been six feet under by a taker kid. And uh, yeah, man, these guys need to get a life. Stop watching wrestling 24-7, night and day. They honestly need to do one of two things. Three things, actually. One, start showing some fucking respect and show who you really are if you're going to insult someone. Two. Go out and buy a girl a drink. Uh, I don't really think there's any girls in that room except for uh, 
Well, Courtney's gone, but Brianna Johnson. I actually added her there, so you're welcome, Brianna. Uh, at number three, if you can't do any of those two things, then fucking jump out a window or something, and the world will be a better place. So, yeah, man, these wrestling fans are the typical type. The ones on that chat room there, they're the ones that can tell Park where they go, that's them. But, yeah, man, I'm done with this shit. They've been buried six feet under by me. And uh, that's a wrap, y'all. Later, y'all.